What is going on, everybody? It is Feedy here. I hope you have a nice Halloween today. Don't overeat on the candy. It's not good for your blood sugar, nor for your teeth, but it sure is delicious. I hope you all get creative and slutty with your costumes, if you do so, and I really hope you enjoy yourselves and that you don't have work tomorrow. For today, I thought we'd be looking at a really special thread on r slash ask reddit titled what's the worst advice you've ever received now let's jump into it and look at some really shitty advice my dad said to quit studying that IT stuff if you want to be a network engineer or whatever go to the company find the boss and ask to work as a janitor, then you can weigh your, you can work your way up. Thankfully, I did not listen. This is objectively the most boomer advice I've ever heard. At 24, while making $12 an hour and renting an apartment, my parents convinced me to buy a brand new Honda Accord. They assured me it was the only way to get a new car and that used ones broke down immediately. The payments were one entire paycheck of the two I got every month. I mean a car is a depreciating asset and a new car is nice, but what my dad always told me is that if I do get a car, I don't have one right now, luckily good for my finances, don't need it. If I do get a car, my first car, it should be a used one anyway, and with $12 an hour, <laughs> for you, I would buy a bicycle first. Turn the other cheek. You'll have the moral high ground, said my father when I told him about how I was being badly bullied. Thanks, Dad, for making my school days an even bigger ordeal than they already were. Yeah, that is actually horrible advice. The more passive you are towards an aggressor, or the more appeasing you are, the more aggressive they will be. Appeasement historically has never worked. Also, importantly, realize that when teachers tell you to never engage in violence or to be passive, that they don't have your best interest in mind, that most of the time, actually, they don't want to either deal with it or have a stain in their class with from, in terms of fighting. They'd rather have constant bullying than one fight. In my early 20s, my stepdad encouraged us, us equals me, sister and brother, to max out our credit cards, then file bankruptcy. My sister did it. My brother did it. I didn't. He insulted me for years for being stupid. Honestly, uh, is maxing out credit cards an American thing? Here in Europe I've never actually heard of a single person doing that. Also, it's crazy to me how most Americans live either from paycheck to paycheck or from debt to debt, study, uh, starting with college, car payments, mortgage. It's kind of crazy how you guys do that, honestly. Family over friends, because friends won't always be there for you. Family will. Fat load of crap that was. Hey, at least you can choose your friends. <laughs> That's something. From my father, don't go to the doctor's office if you only have one problem. Wait until you have four or five. That's how you get the most bang for your buck. Okay, Donald Trump, let's go. In all seriousness, don't do this. If you go to your orthopedic surgeon to get your knee fixed and then you start talking about your skin eczema, chances are he will not like you. Especially if you haven't been upfront about it. If you go into your general practitioner with headaches and then you start going on about tummy rumbles or how you need to use your finger to properly poop, just be upfront with the list of problems you come to your doctor with and don't mention it in passing like, oh, by the way, I have this. Oh, could you also look at that? Just be honest, man. And yeah, most importantly about this post, if you have a problem, get it checked out. Men are most... uh are more <laughs> guilty of this from personal experience. So, boys, if you feel that prostate is being itchy, just go check it out, please. In 
invest in DVDs because you can pawn them for cash when you need money. Ah, uh, that aged, that aged very poorly. Just find a girl you don't like. Once you get married, you'll just hate her anyways. God, I hope he was joking. Hey, uh, is your, uh, is your dad okay? It's too late for you to learn to code. I was 14. Yo, <laughs> yo, how early do they start? That's like telling a three-year-old who can't walk properly. Nope, just give up. It's already too late, my dude. Fine, just, just use a wheelchair. It's over. Put some butter on it. My father to me directly after getting a third degree burn on my arm. In parentheses, cooking accident. Is your father Homer Simpson? What? <laughs> What kind of idiot advice is this? Mmm, necrosis. Just get a degree. It doesn't matter which one. $40,000 and one unused degree later. Ah, free university master race here. You cannot fool me with your American tricks, government. Honestly, uh... People who don't have free uh, upper education. I feel for you people, I really do. Um, I hope things change in the future. Winners never quit. I think that is horrible advice. Calculated quitting is how you progress in life. If I never quit, I would be stuck in bad situations. 100% agree. Just know when to walk away, be it relationships, job-wise, school-wise, whatever. The difference between a winner and a loser is not about the quitting. It's about trying and trying again until you succeed, in my opinion. To bottle up my feelings and not go to therapy. Now, at 26, I'm finally going to therapy. Dealing with the fact that I may have lost my marriage and struggling to deal with all the crap that I have bottled up my entire life. Go to freaking therapy. Deal with the crap and feelings that you don't want to look at. It's worth it. I've actually also started going to therapy during the last few months after a really rough start in the year. And honestly, I was being skeptical with my specific therapist at first, but it was one of the best choices in my life. Seriously. On Twitter, Find yourself a man who will email you when you block him. Alternatively, find someone who isn't a melodramatic pain in the butt. Any advice given on Twitter should be disregarded. As a matter of fact, a good advice? Don't go on Twitter. <laughs> if someone is starving to death, don't give them any food, or you will be interfering with God's will. Um... What? 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 As an ADHD person, just pay attention, man. Oh, wow. Man, you're depressed? Dude, just, just smile, man. My therapist told me that the only way to solve my problems was to be dead. I was there for depression and suicidal thoughts. Jesus, I would have filed a complaint and punched the therapist in the face. Probably. That killing my soon-to-be ex-wife would be cheaper than paying for a divorce and alimony. For context, the advice came from a drunk stranger at a bar. He was probably joking. Maybe. Hopefully. Either way, I opted against it. Ah, <sighs> my dude, you clearly didn't read the signs. That guy was just a hitman looking for our work, so... Yeah, maybe you missed out on a good deal if I look at some of the divorce payments today, but hey, you know, at least, uh, at least you didn't murder anyone, so that's good on you. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day, and see you next time. Bye-bye.